And g'day. I've got the differentials out of my 80 series Land Cruiser. The reason is I'm going from a 4.1 ratio to a 4.56 ratio in the differentials. It's going to make it a lot lower gear, which I hope is going to give me some fuel economy, but it's certainly going to give me a lot more drivability. Now, while I had the differentials apart, I thought there's probably a whole bunch of you guys who've never seen inside a differential and have probably never really seen where all the parts fit and how they kind of work. Now I'm not, now I'm no differential expert, but I have a few ideas. So we're going to do a series of videos for you just to help you understand some of the things that are going on inside a differential. Pretty cool. So first thing, we've got this whole device here, which is called the carrier. And the reason it's called the carrier is because it's carrying this gear here, this big gear, which we call the crown wheel. You've probably heard that term used many times. Now, inside here is the actual differential. You'll see four little gears. There's these two on the sides here, on this cross shaft, they're called the spider gears. Then over here, we've got these gears, which are called the side gears. These gears, are what drive your axle. So if we take this axle here and slot it in there, and then if I turn the axle, you can see that I'm turning those gears down in here, right? So all of the power that goes into this axle is put into it through that little side gear there. Now, this here is the pinion. Now, you've most likely heard people talking about the pinion and crown wheel, or crown wheel and pinion, whichever way they're turning it. The pinion comes in from the tail shaft, which is connected to your gearbox, into the gear set like that. As the pinion rotates, it turns the crown wheel. As the crown wheel then turns the carrier, you can see that we're going to be turning the differential gears. But because these gears are able to do that, that allows us to turn corners. How cool is that? I'm Madman, stay safe on the trails.